Hello, this is Carol, and I'm founder and CEO of Elixir. And before we dive into the topic of today, let me start with a confession. I used to be an SAP consultant, so it's out there now. Um, meaning the last 20 years, I have been doing large-scale CRM implementations involving sales, marketing, service, and backend integrations with Microsoft, SAP, and the likes. And luckily, I discovered HubSpot back in 2015, and I basically pivoted the entire company uh, towards being uh, a HubSpot consulting uh, partner. Uh, with specialty, of course, in sales, service, and marketing implementations, and, uh, of course, ERP integrations. Um, and doing so, uh, we offer the whole spectrum of HubSpot Consulting. Uh, so today, the topic will be uh, large-scale implementations involving SAP integrations. As a solutions partner who primarily works with mid-markets uh, and large companies, we often hear the misconception that HubSpot doesn't scale, it isn't customizable enough, or it doesn't integrate with complex uh, ERP systems. However, already since 2015, Elixir has helped many uh, large companies switch to HubSpot while integrating their ERP system seamlessly, providing them a complete view of their customers to facilitate digital transformation that was not possible before moving to HubSpot. No, there are many reasons why large companies uh, are adopting HubSpot, whether it's the user friendliness, the advanced permissions, uh, customization options, or the ecosystem of technical experts they can work with. Uh, oftentimes, one of the main things a large company requires uh, from their CRM platform is a seamless integration with their ERP systems like SAP, Oracle, and Microsoft. Uh, by having these systems integrated into HubSpot, they're able to better share uh, their data across multiple platforms in real time, streamlining their processes and ensuring all customer-facing departments have a centralized view of their customers. For example, uh, HubSpot ERP integration keeps your accounts, contacts, employees, and business transactions like quotes and sales orders in sync and allows you to track, measure, and optimize marketing campaigns and activities. Um, at Elixir, we have proven that HubSpot is able to support multi-portal, multi-country implementations, supporting multiple brands across the globe for many customers, which we'll showcase next. Let me now share two examples of large enterprise customers who have worked with Elixir and who ultimately chose HubSpot. And in that case, of course, uh, they need an integration for you know, their SAP-based architecture. Uh, and we were able to implement this for them. Uh, the first case is Bosch Rexroth, a multi multinational engineering company with more than 30,000 employees and a revenue uh, exceeding 6 billion euro. Uh, let's now talk to Kim Hutals, project manager at the Bosch Rexroth project, to share some of her experience with us. Hello, my name is Kim Hutals, and I was a project lead for implementing HubSpot for Bosch Rexroth. Before implementing the SAP integration, the client had a few challenges because of their marketing team using HubSpot and their sales team using SAP with no seamless connection between those two systems. This led to an inability to qualify leads from MQL to SQL, which led to missed opportunities and a lot of manual efforts. Also, they had zero feedback from sales to marketing, which meant marketing had no visibility into the revenue they were driving. A good way to visualize the solution is by looking at a normal lead funnel. In this scenario, the customer is using HubSpot Marketing Hub to drive leads and engage them to the funnel and then using SAP on the sales side to turn leads into customers. To enable a consistent feedback loop, better reporting and accurate data flow, we implemented a custom SAP and HubSpot integration that allowed them to turn MQLs in SQLs and different systems seamlessly. 
As the deal progresses in SAP, the marketing team stays informed about the sales results by pulling SAP transactions into HubSpot as deals. This resulted in time and money saved, improved collaboration, better qualified leads, a more seamless process, and clear KPIs for their entire organization. Our second uh, customer case is a large automotive company who has worked with Elixir to implement uh, HubSpot in their sales, marketing, and service uh, departments in multiple subsidiaries in Europe, and each subsidiary uses a different HubSpot portal. All these portals have been integrated into their SAP ERP backend. Uh, let's now listen to Ruben, project manager at that automotive company, what that looks like. Hello, my name is Ruben and I'm a CRM consultant at Elixir who led a project with our automotive clients. Um, so one of the key challenges we had to solve for this client was bringing together their disparate systems and data, which we achieved by consolidating them onto multiple instances of HubSpot with a custom ERP integration with SAP. So we integrate HubSpot in a quite complex IT landscape with multiple systems like the website, customer portal, telephony system, reporting tool, and document management system. But for today, I'll be focusing on the SAP ERP use case. So between HubSpot and SAP ERP, we actually integrate multiple uh, objects. First of all, we have a bi-directional sync of companies meaning that in HubSpot, we um, generate potential customers. And once they are actually converted by sales into a customer, they will be created in SAP. After that, updates need to be done in SAP, SAP for example, by finance or by back office. And those updates will sync back into HubSpot. Then we also have a bi-directional sync of deals with SAP. Um, so in HubSpot, we use deals for creating contracts and orders by sales. And those contracts and orders are then recreated in SAP and updates on these, for example, let's say the order status um, is then synced back into HubSpot. Then lastly, we also have a unidirectional sync of products and stock data from SAP to HubSpot. So sales has directly uh, a view on the most uh, recent product catalog, and they can also see stock data, so the availability of these products. One particularity about this integration is that we are connecting two HubSpot instances to one SAP instance. So we do work with two um, HubSpot instances because we wanted to leave some flexibility and room for differences between the two subsidiar subsidiaries um, in terms of which properties, for example, are used. Uh, but we do also want to work with a common data model for the subsidiaries um, because the processes and the used objects are quite similar. And an overall common data model helps us to align the, uh, the subsidiaries that are or will be using HubSpot. And this way, we can build a middleware for SAP that can serve these multiple uh, subsidiaries. That means that we will also have more efficiency if we start integrating SAP with HubSpot for subsidiaries within the same group. So uh, these integrations with SAP and also with the other systems helps us to get data from multiple objects and multiple sources uh, gathered in HubSpot. And this is then really interesting and can be used by different stakeholders like marketing, like sales and service. And so it's a project at Elixir that we're really proud of. To close things out, as you can see, HubSpot is a simple yet powerful platform suitable for large companies with complex needs. And every day we see more and more large companies choose HubSpot over alternatives. Uh, it enables companies to centralize all their data, people and processes while being flexible enough to integrate with your ERP system or any other system you may have. Uh, so you can personalize and customize your marketing, sales and service activities across complex organizations. 
So if you are evaluating HubSpot and wondering if it can meet your needs with complex integrations, you can trust that HubSpot is a good choice and that there is an ecosystem of partner experts such as Elixir to help you along your digital transformation journey.